do you add a new transmitter into an ET gate or garage door control card that incorporates three programming pins for its receiver? If you do not know how the ET Blue Mix transmitters work with regards to the older ET Blue receivers, please watch the ET Blue Mix video before continuing with this procedure. The link to this video can be found here. Before we start, there are a few things to take note of. One, the three pins will be marked differently on gate operator control cards compared to those on garage door operator control cards. On gate operators, you have the following combinations. B, T and middle pin. This is the common full open and close button trigger function. P, D and middle pin. This is the additional pedestrian partial opening trigger function. On garage door operators, you have the following combinations. BT and middle pin. This is the common full open and close button trigger function. LT and middle pin. This is the additional courtesy light on or off switching function. Always start holding the transmitter button before you short the receiver pins. This minimizes the possibility of learning another incorrect transmitter code. If using an ET Blue Mix transmitter, you must not press and hold the transmitter button for longer than 15 seconds. Let us now go ahead and add a transmitter to the receiver memory. Locate the three receiver programming pins on the control card. Hold the transmitter about an arm's length away from the control card. While doing this, press and hold the desired button on the transmitter. While already transmitting, momentarily short the required pins together. This can be done with the tip of a screwdriver or a car key. The receiver LED will flash. <laughs> 